Hello, welcome to our video showing you the new Android television home screen layout. On screen right now, you'll see the layout that you're probably familiar with. It's the layout that was on your television up until February 1st of 2021. That's when Android updated and rolled out the layout that you see on the right. I'm gonna highlight the major changes, which should be visible here on screen. And then I'm gonna walk you through each of the changes and tell you a little bit more about what they mean and how to use them. The most obvious change is that the circular icons that used to sit on the left side of the home screen that you see on the left um, are gone. You'll notice that they are not present on the television screen on the right. The other obvious change is that you now have three new tabs at the top labeled Home, Discover, and Apps. What we will do in this video is walk you through those three tabs and explain what each of them do and how to use and configure your Android television experience to be the best and most optimal for you. So the first thing you'll notice when you come into the new screen is that at the top there are now three tabs. You can see them here labeled Home, Discover, and Apps. So those are new. We'll go through each of those in turn in just a second. And the second thing that you're most likely going to notice when you come into your new home screen is that on the left side next to each of your application rows, for example, Netflix here, um, the, the circle that allowed you to directly select applications is gone. You can still move to the left here to change the order of the application rows. So if you didn't want Netflix to be the top, if you wanted to switch it with YouTube, for example, um, you could move it up or down just as you could before. So that functionality has not changed. Um, but the application link has changed and we'll show you exactly how that works as well. So your home screen now looks like this. It's a little bit cleaner without the dots um, and the icons out to the left. And um, otherwise, this is pretty much unchanged. What is completely new is at the top, the tab that's labeled Discover. Uh, this is essentially a tab that is designed to try to anticipate and recommend content for you depending upon which applications you opt in. So if you have Netflix and Disney and Hulu and Vudu, and when you first set this up or afterward, you can go back in and make those selections. Um, but if you say, yes, please monitor my viewing habits on these applications and then offer me content based on what I'm watching, you will then see personalized recommendations here. Um, this is basically a way for them to market content to you that you might not know is there that you might be interested in. So you can see there's a top picks for you row. Um, you can kind of think about this a little bit similarly to what Netflix does for you now, but cutting across all of your applications, all of your subscriptions, all of your content sources. So. Whereas Netflix does this top picks just within the Netflix library, this Discover tab will do it across all of the content sources that you have. Again, if you opt in to, if you opt each of those content sources into this algorithm. Um, and then the last new tab is Applications. And instead of having to click Applications and then another button or to click Google Store apps. Um, this is just a direct link to all of your apps that you have installed. And you can see here, um, this shows all of your installed applications. It also gives you a direct link to the store so that you can find more applications if you'd like. Um, and then you can see at the top as well, you can open the store directly. So just a one click access to where all of your applications are. So really the only new thing um, that is important 
is to show you in the settings exactly where you can opt in or out of the Discover section. And for that, if you go under Device Preferences, and then you scroll down to the home screen, you'll see a section here called Customize Services. And this is where you can opt in or out for which services or which subscriptions you want Google to be able to make recommendations from. So you would confirm that here if you hadn't already set it up. And, you know, add Prime Video, add uh, Philo if you have it. Um, and you can see the different options that you have here for it to pull from. And once you have made those selections, you would then confirm them here and it will set up your personalized recommendations based on those services. So now when you go to the Discover tab, it is actually looking at the sources of content that you have. So just a few minor tweaks to the home page. Um, one designed to get you to content much more quickly, one designed to get you to your applications much more quickly, um, and really to just clean it up and make it a little bit more navigable. So I hope that this little tutorial helps. Um, again, this new menu structure and this new home screen were deployed or are about to be deployed on February 1st. I say we're about to be deployed because I'm recording this before February 1st. You're probably watching it after that. Um, so if you're watching this video, you either got here because your home screen changed and you looked at the FAQ online and you wanted to know more about it, um, or you've purchased a TV after that and you're curious. So. Hopefully, like I said, this little tour helps. And um, you know, if you have any questions, feel free to contact our call center. Thanks very much for watching.